Okay, guys. Uh, so today uh, we're going to be looking at some properties, and uh, we are looking at some power properties today. Um, properties that deal with exponents. Um, so the first one that we want to talk about is the product property. Um, the product property is kind of based off the idea that I have uh, two things taken. Uh, two powers with the same base. So for example, like I have a to the third times a to the fourth. And I'm multiplying those two together. So if I think about this, a to the third is the same thing as three a's being multiplied times each other. a to the fourth is the same thing as four a's being multiplied times each other. So if I think about this, if all these terms are being multiplied together, it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven a's. So a to the third times a to the fourth is the same thing as a to the seventh power. So if I were to put this theoretically, if I have a to the m times a to the n, that is the same thing as me saying a to the m plus n power. So what I want to do is just show this in a, a different context. So, uh, we are looking at 3x to the 3rd times 2x to the 5th, y to the 5th. So, what I'm going to do is just reorganize this so that I have like things ne like next to each other. So, I have 3 times 2. The reason why I put 3 and 2 together is because they're both numbers. Um, and then I have x to the 3rd times x to the 5th, y to the 5th. So I think about what 3 times 2 is. That is 6. I'm multiplying those two together. Now I'm looking at x to the 3rd, x to the 5th. I have 1, 2, 3 x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. So if I think about this, I have x to the 8th, y to the 5th. Okay? Well, let's look at this next one. I have 2x to the 4th, y to the 4th. 4y x to the fifth. Like terms next to each other, so I have 2 times 4 next to each other because they're both numbers. x to the fourth times x to the fifth. And then I have y to the fourth times y. Well, 2 times 4 gets me 8. If I look at the x's, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. So it looks like I have 8 x to the ninth. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4 y's with one other left over. So I have looks like I have y to the 5th. Another way for me to think about this is I could have just done y to the 4th plus 1 to get me y to the 5th. Or x to the 4 plus 5 to get me x to the 9th. My final answer is 8x to the 9th, y to the 5th. I'm going to ask you guys to pause the video. And then when you're done, I want you guys to look at the answers. So hopefully you guys are almost done doing those other questions. I'm just going to show you guys the answers. Do only look at the answers when you are done. Trying the other two. So for number three, I got 5b to the third, u to the second. Uh, v is taken to the first, so the 1 plus 2 gets me 3, and I have just u squared left over. Um, 2 times 6 gets me 12. x to the fifth, x to the third gets me x to the eighth and then y to the 7th. I'm going to show you guys another property, which is called the power property. So I'm taking a quantity, like a to the 5th to the 3rd power. So if I think about this, a to the 5th to the 3rd is the same thing as me saying I have 5, or 3 a to the 5th. So just using what we just talked about, I'm taking 5 plus 5 plus 5, gets me a to the 15th. So a quick way for me to think about this, guys, is that I am taking um, a to the m to the n is the same thing as me saying a to the m times n. Okay? So let's apply this to some different circumstances. So I'm taking this whole thing to the fourth power. So each of those terms, I'm taking six to the fourth. I'm taking m to the fourth. I'm taking n squared to the fourth. 
Well, 6 is just going to be 6 to the 4th. m to the 4th. And then if I think about this property right here, n squared to the 4th, that means I have 1, 2, 3, 4 n's. So I have 6 to the 4th, m to the 4th, and then n to the 8th. Um, 6 to the 4th. is 1,296, m to the fourth, n to the eighth. Let's look at the next one. I'm taking 2 to the third, v to the third, and then u to the fourth to the third. So I have 2 to the third is 8, v to the third, and then all I have to do is I could say, hey, it's u to the fourth, u to the fourth, u to the fourth, or I can just do u to the 4 times 3 power, which gets me 8v cubed u to the 12th. So once again, guys, I'm going to ask you guys to pause the video so that you guys can try the next ones. So when you guys are done, just go on to the next. Uh, let's see what happens. And for number 7, I got 8a to the 18th, b to the 12th. So I'm taking 2 to the 3rd, a to the 6th to the 3rd, b to the 4th to the 3rd. So I'm taking a and then 6 times 3 to get me 18, and then 4 times 3 gets me 12. I'm taking 4 to the second, which is 16. 5 times 2 gets me 10. 6 times 2 gets me 12. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to try the next few questions for me, and we will talk about them tomorrow.